Singapore, one of the world's most prosperous and wealthiest places in the world, with a thriving economy and one of the largest and busiest trading ports in the world. But before its modern development and wealth, Singapore was just a tiny island off the coast of Malaysia, barely visible on a map, covered in a dense rainforest, with a thriving, diverse, unique ecosystem, once consisting of tigers, leopards, and even lions. But all of that would change when in 1801, Sir Stamford Raffles found Singapore. Singapore was very quickly modernized, and the tiny island was destined to become a huge, thriving city. But at a cost. With so little land, Singapore was forced to clear its vast jungles in order to create space to develop new projects and constructions. The land is needed to build new housing, malls, and social activities for the citizens of Singapore. However, this comes with a consequence. As Singapore has rapidly increased in industry and population, the rainforest habitat has slowly been shrinking from the rapid deforestation that has been used to clear the land. And now, there are only a few places which you can visit in Singapore to see the remains of its once thriving rainforest and biodiversity. Because of this, the native ecosystem has suffered greatly, and there has been an incredible loss in flora and fauna. Singapore has an estimated 23,000 to 28,000 species of terrestrial organisms. Singapore's National Government Board has recorded at least 392 of these species are birds, and at least 2,100 native plant species today. But it turns out 73% of the country's plants and animals over the last 200 years have gone extinct, due mainly to the loss of their habitats. And now, even more species are being threatened. Let's just take one example, the white-bellied woodpecker. It can be found in many parts of Southeast Asia, and used to thrive in Singapore's rainforests. These birds require long expanses of forests to live in. This species is one of the largest living species of woodpecker in the world. Adults range in size from 40 to 48 centimeters in length. The birds are often found in large tall hardwood trees, and recently there has been a lack of these in Singapore's rainforest, leading to the loss of the species in Singapore. They are very rare to find now, and have been last spotted in Bukit Brown, but Singapore has already started construction on an eight-lane highway cutting right through the area. This may bring the species to drop even more in numbers, and possibly go extinct. Even the rare Campanotus gigas ant, the largest ant in the world, which can only be found in parts of Singapore and Malaysia, is starting to drop in population due to the loss of their specific habitat needs. Through my research, I also found that the Straits Times had recorded hundreds of butterfly species to go extinct in Singapore, 117 to be exact. That's down from what used to be the 389 species which used to be found in the 1950s to 1980s due to the loss of their habitats. In an article from butterfly expert Kin Sin Kun explains butterflies are tightly correlated with plants and as Singapore develops the habitats that they prefer and are being destroyed. This may bring multiple native plant species into risk of extinction due to the lack of pollinators. It is clear Singapore's native rainforest and ecosystem are disappearing, but what do the people and organizations have to say about the issue of deforestation occurring in Singapore? The National Park Board of Singapore has taken great deals of action in the past few years in helping Singapore become the green city that it is now. The MPB's mission is to create the best living environment through excellent greenery and recreation in partnership with the community. They have done this very well by offering many opportunities for communities to get involved in, from educating young ones and teachers to replanting trees. And what the MPB is best known for is their construction of natural parks in Singapore and the conservation of rainforests. 
They have replanted thousands of trees and have certainly transformed Singapore into a concrete jungle. They feel that it is essential that we as a community help play our part in restoring Singapore's biodiversity and rainforest. But what did the citizens of Singapore have to say? They do not rely on the rainforest or ecosystem, so why should they care if it's disappearing? Well, it turns out from some interviews that I conducted, Singaporeans are actually proud of Singapore and its greenery and are willing to take efforts in conserving the rainforest. They also feel that it is important that Singapore has a diverse ecosystem so that the trees who rely on the animals and insects for survival and dispersal can be healthier in numbers, ensuring the safety of the trees and the spread of their species. Singaporeans also feel that Singapore is taking good measures to ensure this through their conservation efforts. However, some argue that Singapore should not construct such major projects so close to rainforests, such as the eight-lane highway going through Bukit Brown and the construction of the new MRT station MRT line going directly under McCritchie Reservoir, as they put the rainforest and ecosystem at risk. Um, so I definitely feel Singapore is a very green city and they definitely deserve the reputation that they have. They've taken a lot of efforts to ensure the greening of the city with lots of introduction of plant species and the city itself looks incredible. But I also feel that Singapore's efforts in conserving the rainforest are done very well. But I feel that there are some issues that Singapore needs to start prioritizing. I think the biggest one is the introduction of invasive plant species and tree species. Um, along the driveways and places like that, when they have all these trees planted, they're not actually native um, plant species. They're um, species to help um, make jobs easier for like cleaning up leaves and stuff like that. And I think Singapore should try to start planting more native um, plant species because the native ecosystem is dependent on those native tree species and plant species and if you get rid of those and start introducing more invasive plant species and tree species those are going to mess up the entire native ecosystem and you destroy the whole interdependent system and you're going to start having more exotic um, animals taking over in a newer ecosystem destroying the unique native ecosystem that lives in Singapore. So I definitely feel Singapore has done very well in conserving its rainforest, but it needs to start putting more efforts into planting more native trees and bringing back its native ecosystem. In conclusion, Singapore is taking many efforts to help preserve its rainforest and its unique biodiversity. It has replanted thousands of trees. An example of this is Changi Airport's commitment to the tree rule, which was a rule that for every tree that was chopped down to create the land for the airport, one tree was replanted elsewhere in Singapore. Singapore has also done a great job protecting certain plots of rainforest area, such as areas of Makrichi. Singapore is also trying to preserve natural habitats of which native animals live in by planting certain flora to help the fauna. However, as I stated, in my personal opinion, Singapore needs to focus more on prioritizing the conservation of native ecosystems to help provide a future for Singaporeans to see their unique native biodiversity. In short, Singapore is a green city and has taken great efforts to make it this way. And Singapore has done a great job so far in its efforts to resurrect its fallen rainforest and biodiversity.